Okay, now I'm going to talk about today. Today, um, in the morning, you know, it was kind of quiet. We, like, I, like, ate breakfast, you know, hung out in my room a little bit, um, drew downstairs a little bit. And then, um, the plans for today were to go to Luxembourg, for, for the city. Most of the time when I talk about Luxembourg, I'm talking about the country in general. But this time I mean Luxembourg City. And, um, that, that was the plan, but, you know, in the morning we still didn't have much to do. So, um, sat around drawing, and then uh, for lunch, um, we, we ate lunch, and then my host mom was like, well, do you want anything for dessert? And I'm like, I don't know. And she's like, well, we've got a ton of stuff. Um, and she mentioned vanilla ice cream, and I was, and then I was thinking last night, um, I saw pictures of root beer floats on Tumblr, and, oh my god, you know, you sit there and you see it, and you're like, I want one. So today, I was like, you know what, we've got vanilla ice cream, and we don't have root beer, because root beer is apparently a really American thing, but we've got Coke, which is close enough for me right now. So I introduced my, <laughs> you know, a few people in my host family to root beer floats um, with Coke, which wasn't nearly as good as with root beer, but it wasn't too bad. Like, it was still delicious. And they thought it was so weird. And they were, like, asking me what root beer was. I'm like, um... It's like Coke, only not, and it's better. And then there's also sarsaparilla, which is like root beer, like the grandfather of root beer. It's like root beer on steroids. That's really descriptive. So actually, my, my host mom was saying maybe we'll go to the American store sometime and see if they have root beer so I can make root beer floats again. But it was really funny, like, uh, there's this girl, I don't know if I've mentioned her yet, she's staying with us, I think her name is... Sophie or Anne Sophie, and, um, one of those two, and she, I don't think she liked it very much, she basically stirred her ice cream up until it was like a milkshake, like a Coke milkshake, and, um, no, my host brother, like, ate all of his, but that might just be just because he's a boy, but anyway, um, so yeah, I had root beer shake floats, and I was so happy, like, I don't know why... <laughs> I don't know if it would have made me that happy if it was in the United States, but I was pretty happy because it was something that I could actually do that was American, so I feel kind of bad because I've been here for a month and I haven't made any American food. You know, it's like, what's American? And my, you know, my husband was like, for us, you know, it seems like hamburgers and ketchup are American, and I'm like, yeah, but you can, like, get those, you know? So I tried root beer floats. Root beer floats work, so it made me happy because it's like, it's American! <laughs> and, um, because most of the stuff that we have, like, just isn't American. Like, I kind of want to make a tamale pie for my host family, because I doubt they've had tamale pie before. But, you know, that's, um, like, an Americanized version of Mexican food, you know, or I could... I don't know. We, America just steals from everybody else's food. So, um, you know, I don't know. <laughs> it was really nice finding something American. And it was also just really nice having a root beer float because, you know, you don't eat root beer floats every day. And then it's like, ooh, root beer float! Plus I'm in Belgium and it's something American and I was so happy. Sorry. Anyway. So after that we went to Luxembourg and, um, we took this, like, tour. It was one of those things where you have a tour bus and you have, like, headphones. And the nice thing about this tour bus is it had, like, different stops along the way. So it would talk about a certain place and then it would stop and you could get off and go explore and then get on the next bus that comes along and they had a buses every 20 minutes. <coughs> <coughs> Which was kind of nice, you know? And they had it in, like, eight different languages. So, you know, I could listen to it in English and, cat, you know, so I had to understand what most people were saying, what it was talking about. And, um, it was pretty cool, you know, we got off at several of the stops and walked around a little bit. Um, you know, we... Um, it, uh, <laughs> um, uh, 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 um, 
sorry. Uh, <laughs> one thing about Luxembourg is that it has a lot of um, art, like how, like like sculptures. So it's really cool being able to see some of those. Um, even though I didn't get a picture of a lot of them because we were on a moving bus and the camera, uh, my, my camera died. So I was using my American cell phone, which is not nearly as fast at taking pictures, you know, and not nearly as good, but... So a lot of the ones, like, there was one that was called, like, the Tall Banker or something like that. And it was, like, a statue of a banker, like, but, like, super tall. I don't know. <laughs> but there was a lot of like modern art. There was this one called The Walking Flower. And it was all in the banking district. Like we were going up the equivalent of Wall Street and there was all this cool art. It's like why? <laughs> but it was pretty cool. And um yeah? Okay. And I'm going to have to finish this later because we're going to eat dinner. <laughs> I'm sorry. These videos have been getting interrupted. I'm not allowed to work today! Yay! Okay, sorry about that. Um, anyway, I was talking about all the cool art in the banking district and the tour in general. Um, so it was really cool driving through the banking district because there were all these, like, nicely built buildings. So there was some really interesting architecture, <coughs> not to mention all the art. Um, and there is one stop where it's like, and you can get off here to go to the Modern Art Museum. And I'm like, I don't want to do that. But, you know, not today. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we, um, basically we took a bus tour around Luxembourg. One stop, though, I have to actually go get something for this. One stop, we stopped by, like, these gardens. And there are these trees, and I couldn't remember what they are called in English. <laughs> so, but I got some of the seeds. And it's gonna probably be really weird. I'm sorry. Um, In case you were wondering, I do not run a quality blog, blog thing. Anyway, um, we got some of the seeds that were pretty. So, I don't remember what they're called, what trees they're from, but they're pretty. So anyway, and well, it was a lot of fun. Um, going around Luxembourg in a big bus, <laughs> and, um, we didn't really stop to do much shopping, even though a lot, we, like, got a map that was, like, shopping in Luxembourg, I don't know, but, um, <laughs> we didn't do any shopping, partially because it's Sunday, and I think a lot of the shops are closed, but, um, we did stop by a little souvenir shop to get me a pin. Yay. Um, also, um, at the end of the tour, we were, we got off close to the cathedral, so we went and looked inside of the cathedral, which was super cool. I love looking in big old churches and cathedrals here. Um, because we don't have big old cathedrals like that in the United States, you know? <laughs> um, and yeah, that was really fun. I got a couple of, um, postcards that I'm going to send to my aunts, Shh, don't tell them. Um, and yeah. Then, came home, made a blog post, got interrupted for dinner, just got a Facebook message. Why am I so popular tonight? I just want to run a vlog in peace and have no light. Um, but anyway. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. I'm really glad I finally got to go see a little bit of Luxembourg. <laughs> Instead of, like, flying in there or going and visiting a printing factory or whatever, and nearly falling over because I was so tired. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was kind of a lame finish up the vlog post because I was pretty much almost done when it was time for dinner, 
If I'd have known that, I probably would have been like, okay, five more minutes, I need to finish up this blog post, but who knows, I probably was going to talk a ton more, and then ended up not talking a ton more because I forgot everything I was going to say. <laughs> you guys didn't have to listen to me ramble as much. Okay, anyway. So yeah, today we went and looked at Luxembourg. I'll post some pictures, maybe tonight, maybe in a week, or three. <laughs> so... Talk to you guys tomorrow.